Hey guys, now it's time to derive uh, the output of an LDI system. Uh, in this video, we'll try to derive uh, the equation for an output of a discrete time LDI system. Okay, and we also call uh, call it as convolution sum. If if the system is discrete time, we call it as convolution sum. And if the system is continuous in time, we call it as convolution integral. So the difference between convolution sum and convolution integral is actually if it is discrete time, convolution sum. If it is continuous time, convolution integral. And uh, the way we derive the concept is almost same. Okay, in this video, we'll try to derive the convolution sum equation. In the next video, we'll try to derive convolution integral equation. Okay. Before we derive uh, the convolution sum equation, let me define what you mean by LTI system because I kept hold of this definition uh, from previous 4 to 5 videos. I used to say I will let you know later, I will let you know later. Now it's time to define what is an LTI system. Okay. Uh, LTI systems are those systems are those which which satisfies satisfies two properties actually which satisfies two properties of a system the first one is linearity property linearity property and the second one is time shift property Okay, if the system satisfies linearity property and time shift property, then those type of systems are called as LTI systems. Systems. And what is an LTI? What is the full form of an LTI? Linear, linear time invariant, invariant system. So LTI stands for linear time invariant system. Okay. Okay. From now onwards, when I say system, it is by default actually LTI system. Whatever the uh, analysis of the system we do from now onwards, all those analysis are with respect to LTI system. Even though if I say just a system, it is basically a LTI system. We'll derive the equation now. So here we are deriving convolution sum. Convolution sum equation. Of convolution sum or or output of output of LTI system. Fine. So consider consider a discrete time discrete time LTI system with input x of n and output output y of n with some transformation some transformation t as shown with some transformation t as shown and the system is like this is an LTA system with some transformation T input is X of N and the output is Y of N. The output the output Y of N of the system of the above system system can be written as Return as how can we rep represent this uh, system basically? So it is nothing but the output y of n is nothing but transformation of 
the input text of it. Right? Or I'll just change the left hand side and right hand side. Y of n is equal to transformation of x of n. Okay. Now, uh, we discussed in previous uh, prerequisite videos to derive an output of an LTA system and we said that any discrete time system, any discrete time signal x of n can be represented as in a compact form uh, summation k varying from minus infinity to infinity x of k delta of n minus k. If you want uh, more explanation on this, you can watch the previous video. Okay. So now what I do is I'll write instead of writing x of n, I write this compact representation of x of n. So y of n is equal to transformation of summation k varying from minus infinity to infinity x of k delta of n minus k. Now y of n is equal to I can write it as summation k varying from minus infinity to infinity x of k because the system uh, this 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 term is nothing but summing up the input signal this is nothing to do with the system transformation but this delta of n minus k depends upon the type of system okay so that's why this is a, uh, this we consider it as kind of constant and we take it out and the transformation of delta of n minus k so because this is just sum up of the input se sequence for k varying from minus infinity to infinity and we know actually in the uh, prerequisite videos we said this transformation of x of n is equal to y of n this we know right but what is transformation of delta of n if i feed input to the lta system as delta of n unit impulse function what is the output it is nothing but impulse response right which is h of n we saw it in the previous video right so therefore i can write it as h of n now if this is the case what is transformation of delta of k which is nothing but h of k just replace n by k right if this is the case what is transformation of delta of n minus k it is nothing but h of n minus k just replace k by n minus k now what i do instead of writing transformation of delta of n minus k i can write it as h of n minus k right so therefore therefore y of n and what is y of n y of n is nothing but output of y of n is nothing but this output of a lti system y of n is equal to summation k varying from minus infinity to infinity x of k h of n minus k so this is it this is the output of a lti system in short we can also write it as y of n is equal to x of n star h of n and this star is nothing but convolution operator convolution operator so from now onwards whenever i say some sequence stars some other sequence that it is nothing but it is convolution operator okay and what is this equation called as convolution convolution sum why because this is output of a discrete time system 